So Jasmine and Ronel, thank you for uh, sharing your sleep school journey with us. So can you tell me a little bit more about um, what was Janice's sleep before sleep school? Uh, how old was she and, <laughs> and what was your routine to get her to, to go to sleep? Yes, we can. Let's start or should I? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Genesis before sleep school was a grouchy, clingy um, two-year-old uh, who needed mommy to sleep. She needed mommy's touch. She needed to be right under me. Um, she had to be in my bed. If I got a lucky day and had to be in her bed, I had to stay until she fell asleep. If she was in my bed, I had to wait until she sleep and sneak her back into her room and just pray that she will last. Um, her wake ups were frequent in the night, mm -hmm. two to four times a night, screaming. Um, you would think there was a nightmare or something every, every single time, but it was just so that she could be with me. Once she was in my bed, um, she was fine. So I knew it was a mommy thing. Dad could not get involved. You could not put her to sleep, <laughs> could you? <laughs> not in the traditional sense. I had we had to like <laughs> bribe her, or um, again she had to be put on melatonin or something mm -hmm. where she had to be drowsy enough to just let herself fall asleep. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that played a part. Uh, but overall, she co-slept with us, mm -hmm. um, and so neither one of us, need all three of us, wasn't getting the adequate amount of rest and sleep that um, we all deserve because we all work. Um, my wife and I work full time. Um, our, our daughter goes to daycare. And so we always want to make sure that we are at our best and that we're rested. But at that time, um, we were all angry because we weren't mm -hmm. sleeping, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Okay. And um, I do remember uh, our first call together a few months ago. And do you do you remember what was your state of mind before getting on the call, and what convinced you to join Sleep School? <laughs> I remember my <laughs> state of mind, like literally right before the call. I was like, "We're meeting with this lady. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's our kid's not going to be. She's not going to qualify. She's she's too crazy. She's too tired. She's too sleep. Like they just." They'll be like, no, you all did something wrong. You, you need to go elsewhere. It just won't work. However, the only reason I said, let's at least have the consultation was because a friend of mine went through the program and she just kept comparing her son to Genesis. They're the same. He did that. She did that. It can work. Look at him today. And I'm like, there's no way this sweet, nice kid here used to be like Jen because he's well-mannered now. He's, he's rested. He's happy, you know? Um, and I wanted my life back. And I was, I was very, I was desperate. It was like the last resort. Um, and I was like, let's just, let's just get the call over with so they can tell me she won't be the, she won't be qualified for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I remember it was literally, it was one of the evenings where we were sleeping. Um, and I found myself on the corner of the bed uh, <laughs> with two little feet in my back. Um, and just remember waking up very angry. And I was like, we can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. because I was just like, I don't know if I'm interested in this sleep program thing. I, it just didn't come off. It was just like, it's this doesn't weird. seem, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem normal. Like what? Um, but at that point I was desperate and I was like, we just, we have to try anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm willing to try this because everything else that we're doing is not working. Mm -hmm. And we've created a monster. We have to basically, we have to change. We have to change. And so um, in order for us to make this drastic change, we had to make a drastic sacrifice. And that was uh, joining this program. And it was awesome. And do you remember if there was anything in particular that convinced you in joining sleep school? Him specifically? Any of you? After the consultation or before the consultation? Uh, maybe after, since you, I think you got a better picture yes. of what school was. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. So, yes, it was the, 
uh, diagnosis of uh, what did you, what you all felt like Genesis had going on, mm -hmm. um, and it aligned perfectly. So at that point, y'all understood exactly what we were going yes. through, mm -hmm. um, understanding that you all have gone through the process mm -hmm. as well, so mm -hmm. you can give a, a a testimony as to how it works mm -hmm. um, and how effective it was. And so that played a huge part in making us feel comfortable in making the decision to move forward. Um, with the sleep program. Mm -hmm. I would say after that consultation, um, you perfectly described her uh, lack of trust with sleep. And I have never heard of something like that, never mm -hmm. been exposed to something like that. And I remember getting off the phone and crying, I think a little bit more, because it was almost relieving that someone understood my life. You know, your family, your friends are like, oh, you just need to discipline her. Oh, you just need to get her out of your room. You just need to all these things because this is not a thing. Um, but it was nice to say this is a thing and you're not at fault. It's normal. Let's help you. Um, and so at that point, I, I thought, OK, if they get it and they say that she's literally perfect. I remember your words. She is a perfect candidate for this program. I thought, OK, let's let's do it. And so in, in that regard, it's what a lot of parents mentioned that we approach sleep in a different way. And it's the first mm -hmm. time they hear us uh, saying this with a trust issue around sleep. Mm -hmm. So um, how would, having done sleep school, how would you describe our method or philosophy and how you support Genesis throughout, through this learning curve and during sleep school? I would say... The approach that you all take, um, it is not cry it out. However, um, there are sleep guides and I would say they they literally live up to their name. They guide us as parents on how to um, set boundaries with her, healthy boundaries that allow her to not only trust sleep, but trust us. Um, and it's, may sound, it sounded weird before that, why can't I establish the boundary? I'm the mom, you know, why? This, these are my kids, like what do you mean? But there were some things that needed to be in place that would allow her to be um, healthy and that we would not be a crutch, but would allow her to know she is really okay. I think that philosophy made me feel like it was a partnership and it was a, we're working with you all. If this is your goal, that's our goal. We'll help you reach the goal, not well, you have a goal, but this is what we do. And it's a company, we're gonna, you know what I mean? Like, they would, well, you're gonna have to edit Sorry. that out. <laughs> Sorry. Should I go back? No. Okay. Um, and so that's what I liked. It was literally guiding you. Every question I had, you guided me through it. Any, any concern, you coached me through it. If they didn't understand the step, why are we doing that? Can't I just do it this way? You continue to say, hey, this is, there was a teaching behind it. You all were like moms, but you all were teachers at the same time, which is I feel like all moms are. And that's what helped me to say, they get it. They get it. Yeah. And I, the words that come to mind is consistency, mm -hmm. love, care, and trust. Mm -hmm. um, as we were, I was actually having a conversation with my wife um, shortly after. And I literally, it did not hit me as far as understanding the full process until after we were done. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But I was just like, I enjoy putting Genesis down to sleep. She enjoys it as well. It, because before we hated it, she would cry and fuss and it would be the same thing and my wife would have to intervene. Mm -hmm. And so now it created these boundaries and these instructions mm -hmm. on how to teach parents, not just the kids, mm -hmm. but the parents, how to be consistent, but also be loving and making sure that your child chooses sleep. At the end of the day, the goal is for the child to choose sleep. We don't want to force them to have to go to sleep. We don't want to have to give them melatonin and all those <laughs> different methods to make them sleep because they're not choosing sleep. Their body is just giving in to where they just fall asleep. And that's what we noticed with our kid. But throughout the sleep program, it just taught us to really enjoy love but be consistent mm -hmm. as far as how we treat we want them to understand that they are very capable of choosing sleep and the process and the the program created a process which helped us develop the skills to know and understand how to put those uh processes to practice and allow them to choose sleep mm -hmm. and it, it was 
like I said, I enjoy it. Like I, I really do enjoy putting my daughter down every night because we have a structure now. And we've mm-hmm. never, ever liked putting her to sleep. <laughs> it was always like, like you're about to enter a fight with a, a lion and you look at each other and you're like, are you ready? Are you going to do this? Are we gonna, do you have the drugs? Okay, I got the drugs. Do you have the milk? You know, you're like, get, get all your materials ready. We're about to go in. Let's see how she does. And now it's it's fun. It's it's um, uh, another thing I have to say that was very the, the philosophy expectations were huge. Um, once we did learn from you all, we were able to set the expectation with Genesis. Um, and I do believe that if a child is um, two years old, maybe even one, I remember when Jen was one, if I could explain to her what was going to happen, then she had a better feeling herself. Because at that age, there's not very much she can control. But this was almost something she knew. I can predict that this will happen and they will say this. And I don't like it, but I know that it will happen. And that was really, um, that was huge. And we still do use expectations with her. Thank you so much for sharing all of this. And uh, it's really encouraging also for us to see the before and after uh, and and seeing that you're all healthy and happy and uh, Genesis is doing much better. And uh, another little one soon going in, in six Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got to get her together soon. Because now she's giving us up and I'm really <laughs> tired. <laughs>